other questions? Yeah, hey, Pam. Uh, Commissioner yeah. Law, Commissioner Samuelson. Well, let, let John go first. I'll go next. John. Yeah, um, Inspector General, in October of 2020, that you went to the media regarding a cable that was found in Jamaica Long Island Railroad Station and declared that a saboteur was at work and a loose cable was found. Can you tell me what the outcome and tell the board what the outcome of that case was? Commissioner, we issued a report um, on the results of all of the instances of uh, suspected sabotage of timekeeping equipment, so I can refer you to that. Um, I we did not, my memory is we did not locate a specific individual who was responsible for that instance. There was a, another instance where an individual acknowledged responsibility for sabotaging a, a timekeeping clock, accepted responsibility, and paid restitution. Um, in a, in a different matter. So, so it's my understanding that the wire that was found at that particular a biometric device that you had run through the New York Post with was actually just a piece of construction debris. And I never saw the report. I never saw the final report. I'm, I'm sure it's out there. Um, but you did that without doing without doing any kind of formal investigation, without waiting for the outcome of an investigation. You You went to the media on it. And I'm just curious because in August of last year, in August of 2020, you sent investigators, or I'm assuming you sent them to Linden Shop in Brooklyn regarding the unauthorized installation of a Tesla charging device by supervisors at Linden Shop um, under, the, under the direction of a track boss named Nacella. So your investigators discovered the Tesla charging device, uh, instructed the track bosses to remove the Tesla charging device, which by the way was paid for with an MTA credit card, um, installed with MTA man hours, 188 man hours I'm told. Um, the materials were bought on amazon.com with an MTA credit card. And the IG investigators went and told them to take it down. They took it down as soon as the MTA IG investigators left, they put it back up and it remained there until Friday. Until a week until about three days ago or five days ago now to my knowledge this was never reported to the um new york city transit there's never been a report on it um you never went to the new york post on it you never you never asked for any kind of recruitment um you never you never recommended discipline against those supervisors you uh, never did any such thing and in fact um hopefully there's a an email about that, that actually spells out this narrative being sent to the board right now with photos of the charging device. And I would put forth that there's a very clear reason why you did that or didn't do it. And that's that these are all supervisors involved and not one hourly worker involved. And it's curious to me that every time there's an hourly worker involved, you demand restitution, you demand recruitment, you demand discipline, you recommend dismissal. And it's, a, it's very much a pattern. And, um, and I see that. And, just with great curiousness, the same exact boss, Nacella, um, who I know for about 28 years, is the boss that spoon-fed your investigators to the seven track inspectors that are now out of service, who happen to be uh, black and Latino track inspectors. And all seven of the track inspectors that you investigated happen to be black and Latino, but not all of the track inspectors happen to be black and Latino. And Nacella who happens to be embroiled right now in an EEO investigation and have a history of, of, of being embroiled in racist problems in track from the time I became a track worker, um, is the one who not only was involved in the installation of this Tesla device, but also is the one who spoon-fed your investigators, and your investigators gave that testimony right in front of me. I witnessed it. Um, I witnessed that happen. So. I'm, I'm curious, there's two things. One, why is there not a report recommending discipline and recruitment of money for the installation of a Tesla charging station that was done for, for the personal benefit of a supervisor who went and bought a Tesla, um, who, ha who all of them happen to be white, by the way. And then, and then secondly, secondly, uh, not only is there not a report, why doesn't New York City Transit Management know about it when Sarah Feinberg was just asked the question. And 
I, I just I want to refer back to one thing. You 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 said in the media at Jamaica Long Island Railroad that incident in October 2020 that there's zero tolerance. There's a zero tolerance policy. Um, and just like you claimed in October 2020 that the wire didn't cut itself, the Tesla charging station didn't build itself in Linden. Yet nothing was done about it. So, so um, Commissioner, I, I'm going to suggest this. I'm going to ask the Inspector General to address your question. And, and, and let, let's cut off the discussion there. I don't think this is an appropriate venue for dealing with conduct or mis, uh, alleged misconduct with respect to uh, uh, a, a MTA employees. I, I, I don't think it's fair. You, well, you, Pat, he raised, he mentioned. No, I, I, sir, I, I'm going to ask the Inspector General to, uh, to, Pat, to, to let's address let's the question. To this, Pat. What, two times a year? Two times a year. When am I supposed to ask these questions? No, let's let's let the ask the inspector general to uh, to respond to your inquiry. Thank you so much, and thank you for the questions um, regarding the incident you just mentioned, where we sought help from the public, um, asking for information that could lead to identifying the individual who was responsible for sabotaging the clock. That is a what tried and true law enforcement technique to seek the public's help. And, the offense is not captured on videotape and we're searching for witnesses. So that is just a tried and true law enforcement technique. You, you missed the heart of the question, which was the installation of a Tesla charging station, which your investigators uncovered, yet you didn't do anything about it. No demand for recoupment, no demand for discipline. While I have um, members of the TW out on the street, every time you get a whiff of something, you recommend discipline, dismissal, People get suspended, lives get turned upside down. But here you have supervisors that they took Pat, if I could just jump in for a moment. A credit card to build a Tesla charging station, and you did nothing about it. So, so spare me and spare the TW and the rest of the unionized workforce all of your good hearted nature about try, about your Elliot Nestness trying to find out who's doing what at the Transit Authority. 